to make your grand king's chair that's going to be going in your garden, you're going to need quite a few pieces to put this all together. What we've done is we've cut all the pieces already. So you just got to follow us and this is what you're going to need. And if you don't get it all, then just go to www.thehomechannel and all of these bits will be on there. Okay, so we've got ordinary plywood. First one that we need is 110 by 290. 717 by 110. 670 by 110. 405 by 110 two of those. 695 by 390. 577 by 390. 670 by 390. 620 by 390. 380 by 390. And the last one is 405 by 390. All right, Goth, let's start putting this guy together. Yeah. To allow you to follow us on the step-by-step -step progress, I'm going to go through what sizes we've put where. So, on the outside, slotting in here, this is the 695 by 390. On the inside, this is the 620 by 390, slotting in here. This one is 380 by 390, slotting in against it. This guy over here is the 405 by 390, coming out and slotting in there. This guy on the outside is the 670 by 390, coming flush with that. And the last piece here is the 577 by 390, joining in here. If you follow that, you're good to go. Now all we need to do, put on the sides, box it up, just put the top layers on so we can turn it over and then get ready for the final prep. Right, and the 717 goes along here. And your final piece, screw that all together. You've got your perfect boxing. So now, all we've got to do is turn this okie over. You grab that side. Okay, let's go. Lovely. Now, because this guy's quite big, Garth, you're strongly recommending that we put some reinforcing in here. Definitely, Tanya. Okay, let's get those pieces and um, put them together. What we have here is some six more reinforcing bar. And all that we've done is, is we've cut them to size four pieces to be able to fit in here so you'll notice it's like a grid four pieces which are these to fit inside here and four pieces to fit here all we're going to do now goth let's bind them together right our reinforcing is in place we've got our three sections we're good to go this is ready goth let's go and get our mixture ready okay. The mixture that we're going to be preparing for our chair is as follows. We're using two parts of river sand, one part stone and one part cement. Garth, in with the river sand. That's the one. In. One times 19 millimetre stone. Groovy. And finally, we need one bucket of cement. Let's get this guy mixed. Okay, God. Okay, God. You happy? I'm happy. That's the one, hey? Yep. Look at that. Nice and smooth. Able to run off the, the spade, and that's what we want. Let's get this into a bucket and get it going. All right, God. We're going to start with this end here. Okay. So let's go for it. All right. Um, what I've just got is a piece of plank here. And literally all you do is get your first, say, 10 centimetres. Your layer just in the bottom. Get that in. Make sure it's, you've really rammed it down. Use the edge of this. Put that down. Because then what I do is take our reinforcing that we've made and our standard in here. And Garth, you can carry on now if you're there. Fixed up.
Beautiful, Garth. Very nice. I'll give you the honours. Give it a beating. Okay. Let's get rid of all these air pockets. And that should do the trick. Now we leave it to dry for seven days and um, we then can see our king chair. Let's go. Garth, this is one that you made earlier. Yeah. Are you happy now that we can take all the boxing off and check out your Definitely. awesome chair? Okay, let's do it. Look, awesomeness. And this panel should also just come off. <laughs> and last panel here, looking lovely. And now this is the longest part of the chair, so this is the part that we're gonna now concrete into the ground. All we gotta find is now the exact spot in that chosen location as to where we're gonna put it. Okay, folks, so you remember what we started off with. Really sad looking bed. We've removed everything, we've cleared it, we've added some compost in. We said that the whole point of this was to add in our beautiful concrete bench that is ready, dried, and all it needs is a good home. So, Garth, we're going to stick them in right here so that I've got that beautiful view of the valley. Oh, very nice. And uh, let's get digging. Okay. How deep do we need to dig this, Garth? Tanya, the spade that I'm working with now, uh -huh. we need to go down about 300, so it's the exact same length as the spade. Okay. The front part. Because that's the longest part of the bench. That's correct, Tanya. Okay. There, Garth. Hey, Tanya. Holes ready. Okay. What you got there? All right, Tanya, I made a very strong mix here because we wanted to hold this chair in position. Okay. So I've got two stone to two river sand and one cement. Okay, that'll hold it, up a whole house. And not too much water. Okay, <laughs> let's put a little layer in. Excellent, that's just going to be our base layer. And now, let's get the chair. Chair. Hold them up and then pour the rest in. Okay. Garth, I hope you've eaten your jungle oats. I have. <laughs> you should be asking me, I hope you've eaten my jungle I know oats, Tanya. You <laughs> right, on the count of three. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, up goes the baby. One, two, three, in. Yeah. That's the baby. Okay. Right, let's make sure he's level. A bit back. Yeah, and a little bit back. I've got it under my leg here, so. Oh, sorry. While I'm holding up the bench with one finger, Oh, Garth's using a stamper just to make sure that he gets all the air pockets out of this mixture that we've put in here to make sure that it's nice and solid. Garth, I'm not going to stand here and hold it while it dries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these two cement blocks. Good idea. Just underneath it here at the height that we wanted to set at. So now you can lean it back a bit. Bravo. That's going to be perfect for my derriere to sit on. So stamp it in place there, we can leave it to dry, and then we can carry on with the rest of the garden planting.